G'day and welcome to Daily, Daily Insights and Storytellings with me, Moon Willow. Um, I wasn't sure whether I'd be able to do this today or not. I'm currently sat somewhere in Turkey, um, but I felt really drawn to actually continue with this today because I don't know how the time is going to work over the next couple of weeks. So I felt the need to actually come on and see what's going off for all of us in this pretty crazy world that we're all living in at the moment. Um, well, I remember, can you hit the subscribe button if you haven't already? If you've enjoyed it, hit the thumbs up. If not, hit the thumbs down. I will endeavour to put um, my uh, website in the comments bit as well. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook. Um, it might take a couple of weeks, but I will be available for story individual storytellings as well. So if you'd like to book something in um, for later on, sort of after in mid-November, feel free. We can sort something out um, if you feel drawn to it. So, um, yeah, energies and um, avoidance is what we've been talking about a lot recently. And I feel that that's sort of still very much prevalent especially in um, my energy um, and I'm guessing in other people's as well and also sort of um, the more we're faced with having to um, negotiate our worlds in a way that may not sit comfortably for us what I'm noticing more and more often um, especially in traveling yesterday that I seem to be able to walk a different um, it does feel like a different dimension really because um, I'm not questioned as much as I thought I might have been um, for walking in the way that feels true to me, the way that feels um, like I'm maintaining my sovereign self and it, it's just it's been quite interesting watching how that works and just the beautiful um, rainbow as I was taking off yesterday in the most gorgeous sunset um, going off and just sort of trying to focus on the light and not trying to get drawn into the darker thoughts um, that, that sort of sit there as we've been talking about for the past couple of days sort of trying to have a look at it see whether it belongs to me whether there's something I can do about it or not put it into Gaia put it up to my higher self to try and transmute it so that it doesn't become a negative loop that robs me of my present moment so that feels very much in the energy at the minute so we'll start with a crystal so if you focus on the bag for me we'll see oh that one jumped up <laughs> oh dear we're still in green adventurine this one really, really wants to talk to us so very much, our heart space and um, just sitting very much with what um, feels right for us and negotiating the world around um, and how we impact that and how that impacts us and noticing that sort of like the darker thoughts and that fear, that fear can take hold in our heart and it can feel very heavy and very dark and very difficult to move forward. So it's sitting back and integrating within that and seeing the lightness that our hearts can hold and the joy that the smallest things can bring, being um, rainbow and just the sunlight playing on the clouds, um, just taking that moment to breathe and sit within us. So going to the cards, if you just focus as I shuffle them. And see what comes out today and I'm going to split them again and that feels right and we'll see what we have coming out today so we've got the polar bear or mama bear feminine energy and the coffin so starting with the bear, um, our heart centre, um, we do end up becoming overly protected, protective of our heart in a lot of ways. And um, it's almost like if we 
step if we're living in a world or living a way of being that um, has a lot of problems in it or we perceive that there's a lot of problems in it that actually um, we can we don't want any more um, it's like we become overwhelmed and we want to protect our heart space um, so that we don't lose ourselves and um, but in preventing sort of like negative things coming in or difficult things coming in at the same time we are also robbing ourselves of the chance for the lighter things to come in and I know I've spoken a couple of days about um, sort of getting caught up in that negative spin and that negative language within us and we don't take an opportunity just to see how powerful and how beautiful our hearts are and they've got us this far in life and they will get us it will get us further but it's learning how to love ourselves unconditionally that even if we've made choices and decisions that may not be in our what we perceive at the time is not our good in our highest good but i do believe that no matter what we're struggling with that actually it is where we're meant to be at that moment and we can either give in to the negative side of it or give in to um, getting trapped in that dark loop which actually prevents us from seeing the magic and the beauty that's around us at all times and there are almost always even in the darkest of time there is always a chance of the glimmer of the sun coming through and for a rainbow to shine so we can protect our hearts equally by allowing sort of that goodness to come through that unconditional love and have that firmer loving of ourselves and I've talked a bit about um, sort of what we put out is what we get back so if we're going to walk through the world with thunderclouds then we're going to attract thunderclouds but if we walk through the world with sunlight then that's what we're going to attract coming back in so <clears throat> The lady, I think it's very much the feminine energy and looking at the um, emotional side and emotional aspects. So if we um, don't feel that we're good enough or we're trying to protect our hearts from being hurt again, that um, we're, we're robbing ourselves of that ability to actually have love and care and understanding. And it's not a weak thing, it's actually quite strong so very much and heart sometimes is more because it's the emotions it's more of a feminine aspect so whether it's a, a, if you're a, a man listening to this or a woman listening to this it's actually celebrating and enjoying that feminine energy and knowing that that is right and has its place within us as well and it's integrating all of that and if things do get too hard or difficult it's also giving our, ourselves permission to cry as well and feeling our emotions if we prevent ourselves from feeling emotions if we hide it back it can actually get darker and it can actually do us more damage in the long run I was talking about health the other day as well and it can end up taking on an energetic and a physiological aspect to it which can actually do us long-term physical damage if we don't um, allow ourselves to feel exactly what's going off in the heart that we're actually allowing ourselves to feel it coming in and out um, but not sort of getting so caught up in in that sensation that we wallow in it is what's coming through at the moment it's um there's a length it's no there is no right or wrong there is no real length of time but it's sort of not getting caught in the victim or enjoying the guilt enjoying the um attacking ourselves because that increases the idea that we're worthless when we're not it's acknowledging that actually i'm allowed to feel angry in this situation i'm allowed to feel upset i'm allowed to cry i'm allowed to hurt because that can be quite cathartic so that we can actually move back into loving and noticing the joy that's out there so um the coffin is like the death card in tarot um but it doesn't necessarily mean a physical death so like with the snake that we've had a lot recently it's shedding and it's letting go 
So, and back to what I was saying at the beginning with um, the different dimensions and how we're walking through the world, it's actually what's coming through at the moment is <clears throat> sitting in our heart space and noticing what feels right for us, what brings us love, what brings us joy. And almost like an egoic death, it's letting go and stopping ourselves being forced into a particular um, narrative that doesn't sit comfortably for us just because everybody else is doing it. So it's um, letting go of the control, letting go of um, that sort of negativity. It's, it's allowing that to die. But in dying as well, it's going back into Gaia to be transmuted because energy is never lost. Nothing is ever lost. So it's, it is a death in a way. It's a death of certain relationships. It's a death of relationship with ourselves in ways that don't suit us or serve us anymore, that we're able to move forward more freely and, and flow better. Because I don't know where we picked it up, but somewhere along the line, it seems that um, us as human beings walking on this planet seem to have come up with this idea that life has to be hard, that it's nothing's worth getting unless you've gone through a lot of effort to get it. That if it comes in naturally or flow, it's we question it going, well, what, what did I do to deserve that? It's it, There's a lot of really weird language that goes off with that. So it's almost like there's a death of that as well. It's a death of um, having ways of being that don't serve us anymore. That actually um, noticing that if we look to the light, if we allow ourselves and open up to abundance and open ourselves up, realising we're worthy, that we have we don't have to work really really hard to get something that actually it's okay for things just to flow naturally um i know that <coughs> excuse me i know that times in my life where things do seem to flow really well i live it and enjoy it for all time and then all of a sudden i stop and think well why is that so easy well because i'm allowed to have it easy there is nothing written anywhere from source in the laws of being us in human beings where it has to be hard work we seem to make it hard work because that's what we've been told it's back into storytelling there seems to be that narrative that keeps running around um, which it tends to be reinforced in school and education and then via tv and all these places that to actually deserve anything for anything to work out well we, we need to have gone through some sort of hardship or it's got to have been a lot of hard work. And I think what this is saying to us is that actually if we sit authentically within a heart space, that we don't protect it too hard, that we actually allow it to be open to the universal flow and let our emotions flow so we don't get trapped in them. If we let go of the traps, if we get let go of that victimhood almost that actually life will begin to flow more easily and instead of questioning that we celebrate that which will encourage more to come in so just sort of sitting with that flow more and more I hope that makes sense for someone out there I realize that that's um, really not an easy way to live and I know that it's a way that I am constantly trying to get my head around as well which is why I share the way that I share and share in that way in my blogs as well on the website. It's not to say that I'm right or wrong. It's just that I know when I read or hear something from other people that it resonates within me and helps shift and also helps me feel that I'm not alone. So I'm hoping by sharing in this particular way that you realise you're not alone out there either and that we're all trying to muddle our way through this particular timescape on this planet at this time. And I do believe that we've all chosen to be here for this particular, at this particular moment in time, for this particular journey, that you're here with me because you're meant to be with me and I'm meant to be picking up your energies as well, which I absolutely love and adore. So um, I really appreciate you being here. Um, I 
bear with me while I focus into um, whatever sound comes out today and I hope that um, the other people that are in this environment with me don't get too shocked because I haven't warned them so <clears throat> oh Thank you ever so much for joining me. I really appreciate it. As I said at the beginning, I'm not entirely sure how many of these I'll manage to do whilst I'm walking my particular path at this moment in time. But um, as I say, I was felt really drawn to do this today, which is why I'm sharing it again today. Um, while I remember, please hit that subscribe button. Thank you ever so much. Um, enjoy the rest of today at least or whenever you're watching this and hopefully I'll see you soon. Love you all. Bye.